Hello students, welcome back to math class. Today we will learn about measurement chapter 8. So if I ask you how tall are you or how much do you weigh, how do you know? This will be done only using the term measurement, right? Or you will know only, do, only doing a measurement. So today we will learn about measurement. So measurement is finding a number that shows the, si the size or amount of something. So again, here, measurement can be of non-standard unit and standard unit. Uh, non-standard unit, you have already learned in class 2 as well. So non-standard unit are those units which are not fixed, okay, which are not fixed. But your standard unit are fixed for a fair capacity, okay, for a fair share of capacity. So first, we will discuss about the non-standard unit. Mm, so non-standard units are such as hand span, foot span, base, and cubit are used to measure length. You can see in the picture, this is your base, this is your hand span, this is your cubit, this is your foot span. So earlier, before uh, before this non, uh, before the standard unit were introduced, uh, they, we were using this base, hand span, cubit, or foot span. But see, if you measure a double, if you measure your dining table using your hand span, and if you ask your mother to do the same, will the measurement be same? No, it will be different. Why? Because your hand is smaller than your mother, or your mother's hand is bigger than yours. So, does, uh, it varies from one person to another. So it varies from one person to another, or you can uh, you can measure that uh, measure the distance between your room to your kitchen using your um, normal best using your normal best. And if you ask your dad to do the same, will it be same? No, because you have a different size, right? You have a different size, which will which the measurement will be different. So that is why it, this is the reason why we need a standard unit. Okay, okay. now we will learn about standard unit. So standard unit are the unit we usually use to measure the weight, length, or capacity of objects. So first we will discuss about the length. And standard unit for measuring length are centimeter, meter, and kilometer. So what do, what do we, when do we use this length? We use this length to measure the height, uh, height or length. Right? How long, how tall, or how far the distance? Okay, so like say, if I want to, I want to know my height. Will I, will I measure my height from a weighing scale? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to measure my height from a weighing scale. In this case, what shall we? Uh, what shall I use? I will use a meter, right? Over here. So that is why the standard unit for measuring length, length are centimeter, meter, and kilometer. So. It, Centimeter is the smallest um, measuring unit for length. And so 100 centimeter max, one meter. And when do we use this centimeter? For drawing a line segment or measuring a band, a pen or a small objects like this remote. Okay, so, mm, so uh, and meter is bigger than those of centimeter uh, measure we usually use when we are measuring the height of a wall height of a wall or the length of your clothes when you go to a uh, when you go to um, a stitch a uniform you don't randomly go and just stitch your uniform right the teller used to measure using a measuring tap using a meter tap so we use this meter when for measuring the length or uh, length of a cloth Okay, and 1,000 meter max, one kilometer. Now we have kilometer. So kilometer, uh, kilometer we use it when we are measuring a long distance. A long distance, for example, like um, the distance from your home to your school or distance from your home to your village. Okay, we, in, those day, in those things, we use this kilometer. Okay, so now we will learn about a uh, measurement of weight. So we use measure we use weight to measure how heavy or how light the object is. 
and the standard unit for measuring of weight are grams and kilograms. Gram we use to measure a lighter objects, a very light objects, and it is represented by gram. So 1000 gram max, 1 kilogram. Next, the standard units of measuring weight are, weight is kilogram. So kilogram has been represented by kg, kilo for k and gram for g. And so um, this measuring weight can be of physical uh, balance or weighing scale, uh, like those of the electronic scale. So the lighter objects, like uh, if you want to measure your egg, one egg, which one you will you, you will use gram? Okay, so you can say like five gram of egg. The one egg is five gram, and kilogram. When you use this kilogram, you you use this kilogram uh, when you want to measure a heavy object like uh, like watermelon or those of heavy heavy objects. Now we will learn about capacity. Standard for measuring capacity are milliliter and liter. So we use standard uh, standard for measuring capacity are in order to find the volume of the liquid or quantity of the liquid, like uh, water, milk, or um, any juice. But it should be liquid, right? Because liquid you cannot measure in your weighing scale. You cannot measure in your physical uh, balance. So uh, we measure in order to know the volume or the um, quantity of the liquid. We use this capacity. Uh, so the standard unit for capacity are milliliter and liter. So milliliter we use for um, for a small for a small, um, we use the small capacity of uh, liquid. So you have seen here, it has a fixed bezel with different volumes. Here, one liter, 500 liter, and 200 liter. And so uh, milliliter, you measure like uh, a syringe, a syrup in a syringe, or um, a cup of a tea. Liter you use uh, in terms of milk or an oil. Okay, so let's do some exercises. Decide whether these length are longer or shorter and use M or centimeter accordingly. So the thickness of a book. How do you measure the thickness of a book? Centimeter. Length of a car. The length of a car, do we use centimeter or a meter? Here, we use meter. You write M. Length of a toothbrush. Length of a toothbrush, it is more right, so we use centimeter. Height of your chair. The height of your chair, we measure, you measure using your meter. Height of a door. Height of a door, you measure using meter. Now, length of a pen. Length of a pen, you can measure using your scale, so we can say it has centimeter. Now, length of a blackboard. Length of a blackboard, blackboard we use meter. Next, we have, are these objects light or heavy? Decide whether you would measure their heights in gram or kg. Here. One, a slab of a chocolate. So a chocolate, is it gram or kg? It is a lighter object, right? So we will go for gram. We measure chocolate by gram. Second, a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper, we measure in grams. Division in kg. A bag of rice. Kg. Now, will you measure these quantities in milliliters or liters? Write ml or l against each. So, water in a large packet. How do you measure water in a large packet? Is it milliliter or liter? So, like I said, milliliter is for. Um, 
smaller quantity, right? So here we will use length, uh, liter. Okay, now we have medicine in an injection syringe. Medicine in an injection syringe, we use 1 ml, 2 ml, right? So here we will write ml. Milk in a small baby's feeding bottle, we will, we will use, this also we will use ml. A bottle of a milk, a bottle of a milk, ml, a liter, uh, ml. A bottle of a milk will be milliliter. A jug of a gerson, a jug of a gerson will be liter. A cup of tea, ml. A bottle of a cough syrup, a bottle of a cough syrup, it is milliliter. So that's all for today. See you in the next class.